This is part two of the Unitizer Pro Tools. And the first uh, one we're going to discuss today is CAT. Okay, CAT PDF to Image Converter. It's fairly simple. Um, you open up um, an input PDF, so it's the PDF that you wish to input and then you're going to also create an output file where you would like that placed. Okay, so you know that both these input and output fields are filled. You're going to actually be able to um, rename or name, I should say, the documents as they come out. So you can put a prefix and a zero pad and a beginning number just like with any kind of renaming thing. You can actually choose the output format TIFF being the most um, popular format for use with the legal industry because of the detail and yet uh, small file size. Small file size. So once those settings are in, you click convert and it processes fairly quickly. So once it's uh, processed, you will see a configuration like you see right now. And by the, the ready sign there, there's a little folder and you can view your output in a little window here. So you can take a look at it, make sure it's the way you want it. Uh, I actually have a couple of projects in there you can see. And then we have the file mover. Uh, you can use that to move that results folder any place you want. Okay, now we're going to look at uh, processing multiple PDFs. You need to check that check mark first before you get started. Then you will find those PDFs. I've, I've kind of prepared some ahead of time. And you will choose an output folder again. And I'm going to pick uh, something I made for it, which is my. And I'm going to call these output files test with a dash. I'm going to use TIFF format and then you click convert. So now we're processing multiple PDFs from one directory. And the truth is it's one directory. It's not recursive at this point. So all the PDFs have to be in one folder, in other words. The same as we did with the single PDF, we will click that little folder and open the output folder so you can see what we have in there. So everything has been named. All these PDFs were taken apart page by page and each one made it into a separate document, a TIFF document by our choice and we named it test 1 through 23. So now we're going to talk about another tool for Unitizer Pro called Simple Renamer. And it's called Simple renamer but it's anything but under the hood we'll say for you it's going to be fairly simple though so 
click on the button with the little envelope, find your work folder. The images will load in as file names. And in our case here, we have two different prefixes. We want to make those all the same. So let's just use something generic, like my client, something like that. You start value as 1. You're going to just have one step between your increments. And I like using six digits. So why don't we use six digits? And I'll show you in a second what that means. Okay, so first you have to preview. This is real important. You're going to preview, and if it's what you like, then you click Rename. Okay, the renaming's complete. And now it moves over into the file name column because it is now truly what the file name is. The Add tab, the Crop tab, these things allow you to add or take away any kind of alphanumeric uh, characters out of the file name. So let's try cropping. We have simple and we have advanced. Simple, you just say how many characters you wish to delete from the beginning or the end. And then you preview it. So I just showed you how to take off the first two characters. And now my documents are called client dash with the padded number. Okay. Now I could add that back in or I could add a different word. I could say their, their client. And what I'm going to do is put that at position zero because zero is actually the first number in this kind of thing. And zero happens right before the first character. So here's an illustration of how it works, and I've set up the digits underneath their respective places. So that's how you count. We can go into more advanced cropping. So I could crop something actually from the middle of the prefix. Okay, so say I wanted to get rid of the word client. I have to count over how many characters. So find out where the character is, the number is that is between the R and the C there. Okay, so I found that to be five. And uh, the client word is one, two, three, four, five, six characters long. So I put that in from the beginning. OK, preview it, and we took out the word client. So you can manipulate file names pretty much any way you want to with this program. And not only just adding or sub subtracting, let's say, um, you can also overwrite something. So I'm just showing you some additional ways to count and to add and to put things together. OK. And you can even replace words with other words. Sometimes that's even simpler than trying to count spaces. OK, so those are the functions. Now we're going to look at simple renamer recursive function. You need to click the recursive first so that it knows ahead of time when it's listing these files that you want to do the subfolders as well. Um, so I just did a funny name, client and other guy. So in the subfolder, as you can see, we have uh, a list of documents from the subfolder and a list of documents from the top folder. The top folder is my, and it has the client name docs, and the subfolder is my, and then under there is subfolder. So I'm just going to 
put something generic in so you can see how it works. Made my settings there, and as you can see, like in the folder and subfolder, it just continued on with the number system. And so now that renaming is complete. I also want to show you something about just renaming checked documents only. But first, let's look at our product. You can see all the names, and they begin with one. Let me get this in a list format so you can see that better. Okay, so it's 1 through 19, and in the subfolder, uh, list it again, 20 through 59. So you can see that it does work sequentially. But let's look at this rename checked only function. That's important too. The check, mar the check boxes are provided for that function, but there's a few things to know before that time. Um, I want to select some out of here to be privileged documents, but as you see, it's not going to work just by checking the boxes. Okay, and you might remember, oh, I have to check the rename checked only function, and it's not going to... Then you check the boxes. Then you click preview, and only those documents that you checked will be renamed. So you could actually create a collection of privileged documents out of your main documents, if you know what those numbers are, and renumber them all in their own continuous number span for your case. So as I've been saying in the other tools, the help file now is incorporated into the Unitizer profile. So you would look inside of the Unitizer Pro. It's actually under menu functions. Um, and yeah, there it is. Uh, menu functions, tools, and then it's going to have its own section. And pretty much the same as the other, but updated with, with the new version look and whatever changes have occurred. 